Welcome to another episode of What's Cooking. Join me as I travel the country, learning the tips, tricks, and stories behind the recipes and home cooks that make up the world's number one food site, allrecipes.com. This week, we're in Allentown, Pennsylvania, made famous by the Billy Joel song of the same name. As the song foretold, the steel jobs here and in nearby Bethlehem are long gone. But Allentown is still very much alive. The area is now home to a large Puerto Rican community. Luckily, we've got all recipe chef Millie to show us around. This is Yautia. This is Yuca. This is, um, this is Yautia Lila, means this is a purple Yautia. I can't say I know what any of that is. They just look like hairy potatoes to me, but I bet when Millie's done with it, it's going to be good. This is What's Cooking. Hello, welcome to another episode of What's Cooking. We're here with Millie in Allentown, Pennsylvania. And as you can see by the sign here, how do you say that, Millie? Uh, aquí se come Puerto Rican. What does that mean? Here we eat Puerto Rican. So we're not in Billy Joel's Allentown, we're in Millie's Allentown. And she's going to prove that today with her amazing codfish stew. This recipe is called bacalao a la, viz a la vizcaína. Uh, Puerto Rican cuisine is, is, um, is a mixture of three influences, Spanish, uh, Taino, which is the native yeah. Indians, and African. Oh. So first, Millie's got me peeling and slicing the potatoes and onions, while she dices the garlic. You should have already soaked the codfish for about eight hours to rehydrate it and remove the salt. Well, you can always kind of, you know, try it a little bit, and if it's still really, really salty, then you probably need to, so, you know, change the water again. Okay, so once this is done, we're gonna shred it. You got that? I do. Okay, put it on that side. Once you get all those ingredients, you get a heavy pot, which is this one. We're gonna start layering things. All right. Just take about, eh, just eye it, maybe about half of what you got there. <laughs> so did you catch that? Take about eh. half of the potatoes, half the onions, half the shredded codfish, hard boiled eggs, capers, garlic, olives, roasted red peppers, and raisins. Then top it off with a bay leaf and a little tomato sauce and olive oil. Then do it all again with the other half of the ingredients. Finally, on top of everything, add some white wine and water. So once you get that, you cover it and take it to the stove. All right. Just bring it to a boil and simmer for about 30 minutes and you've got yourself some authentic Puerto Rican codfish stew. All right, so while that's on the stove cooking for another 45 minutes, normally we'd call it a wrap, sit down, have something to eat, but this is a Puerto Rican kitchen, and so there are some rules that I wasn't aware of, and uh, it seems like Millie's got a few more surprises for us, so yes. why don't you tell me about that? Yes, meal? no meal will be complete without something sweet to eat, okay? okay? And um, one thing that we gotta have somewhere is coconut. So I made um, some coconut cheese flan, and actually is already done but i'm about to flip it and anybody who has made flan knows that the flipping of the flan is an event so you take a platter okay and you put it in there now Drum roll. the flipping of the flan is very important sometimes there's caramel all over the place i make no promises okay all right so there you go Drum roll, drum roll. Okay. The flipping of the flan is very important. The flipping of the flan is very important. It came out perfect. Look at that. Isn't that there gorgeous? You know, flipping of the flan. Okay. Perfect. Now there's still I some. I didn't say perfect for Puerto Rican. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Here we are. Let's see how this tastes. Mm. Mm. Bon appetit. Very good, Millie. Mm. Very You're good. good. You're welcome. It came out really nice. As you can see, this is a little more food than the two of us can handle. And when word gets out that Millie is cooking up some dinner, the house doesn't stay empty for long. Join us next week as we visit another kitchen to see what's cooking. Cross your fingers, keep on wishing that I'll soon be headed to your kitchen.